Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. At the end of the previous episode, well, while editing the previous episode, I realized that my Venus mission has cryogenic fuels and will boil off. And so we can't rely on the ether engine in order to do the MIG course correction. We do have some uh, storable fuels for the RCS as well as in the sort of uh, lander portion itself, the entry portion, but I don't know if that's enough to do the correction, we'll have to see, and that is not what we're going to start with today, because otherwise we won't be building anything, and there's stuff on the way, so we might as well do something. Let's see what we can do. And then pass the common, pass the common line crude and suborbital should just be bundled together. But this suborbital is pretty high, 170 kilometers, that's a bit dangerous. Crew. Seems dangerous. I mean, but... Let's see. Let's see. Got survivability. Enhanced survivability with the Mark 1 pod. We still haven't finished, though. And then we have to really wait until here to get decent pods. Enhanced survivability is only in 8 days. Well, let's just finish enhanced survivability. Okay, but simple command modules are gonna take 357 days. So now we have the Mark 1 pod, and we could theoretically do the contract for suborbital and pass the com online. But should we? Should we do this? Uh, well, I think I think it's high time we risk a Kerbal's life. <laughs> I think I think it's about time, right? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, well, let's see how long it takes to build one before I pick up the contract. Okay, Mark 1 pod. Maybe we should do it uncrewed first. How long does it take just to build this pod? 82 days just for the pod. Which, let's face it, I mean, that's... Uh, we really need to pour points in to build... Um, well pour money into build points, is what I meant. Well, we have the usual crew people. Anyway, yeah, I think we want RCS at the top here. And we'll have it be radial, and let's have it be a polygon tank for once. And then the Mark 16 parachute. Okay, I guess that doesn't look the greatest, but... Unfortunately, these this thing is a three-way symmetry thing, the parachute. So that's just not going to work out perfectly. Let's just unlock these. These are useful. That looks perfectly aerodynamic, I assure you. Oh, well this has HTP in it, but whatever. We'll have that as a backup or whatever. Okay, but naturally this needs a heat shield. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a blader on it or anything, but we wouldn't trust that anyway. Um, 2.25 sounds safer than just 2, probably. We want it to be a little bit oversized, because I guess we have to do that with heat shields these days, and probably we want the shielded tank in between here. Again, not aerodynamically nice, but what can we do? We're not having an escape system. Suborbital can just be a single stage. I guess we should use engine twos. That's a lot. <laughs> um, we need less efficient engines. <laughs> Uh, but, okay, uh, maybe, hmm, okay, this is very stubby, <laughs> maybe, maybe we can not have that large a heat shield, maybe just a little bit over will be fine, but then again, it is just lifting a little one ton pod, so. Okay, well, but if we... Hmm. 
<laughs> this is gonna look like a ridiculous rocket. These have two minutes of burn time. I mean, I guess New Shepard is a bit stubby anyway. Our thrust weight ratio is gonna be too high. We need some dry mass. <laughs> we need something to weigh this down. See, the problem is if we cut down the engines to cut down the thrust to weight ratio, we didn't have a long burn time. But maybe we should just leave some fuel in here. And then if I shrink it, oh, this, how small can this get, really? I mean, yeah, the redstone rocket had just one engine. But isn't there something wrong here? <laughs> oh boy. We're going to weigh it down so that the thrust to weight ratio... We're gonna leave some fuel in and the thrust to weight ratio doesn't get too... too high. We can't use last minute anyway. Well, I mean, I'm not going to use last minute because we only tested it for two minutes. But apparently this can go to space? Hmm... Maybe we should just use a less efficient engine, but it seems wrong. Well, we haven't configured the parachute, so there's that. Maybe input craft mass, let's say four. Should we put fins? <laughs> Pack a second shoot? I guess, maybe. Let's put fins like that. These are just static fins, they can't actuate. The problem is, we, uh, we'd have to pack two extra shoots. Two extra shoots. We'll have such redundancy. Maybe we should put some science too or something. Well, uh, surface thrust weight ratio is a little bit low there. Okay, I, I dubbed this the nub. Space nub. Space nub. Space nub. Okay. Okay, so we're building two space nubs. But first we have to get to that... That maneuver for the Venus mission, which should have, like, all of its fuel boiled off. So, we may or may not be able to do that. So, why don't... We could make the whole thing reusable, I guess. Hmm. That's an idea. Okay, well... Yeah, all the oxygen is gone. This still has RCS propellant. Uh, there's gonna be an RCS burn, so let's see. We pack way too much RCS propellant, really. But, I guess it's helpful in this case. Oh, no, 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 why did you have- No, 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 stop, 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 stop! Stop, stop! Okay, fine. That, that'll be fine. We'll wait until we get there to dip it into the atmosphere. Let's just make a little maneuver node there. That probably throws it off anyway. Okay, so another 90 days. How much do we have left? We have probably enough for that correction, so that'll be good enough. Okay, so it's not a tragedy after all. Okay. So this is on its way to Venus, and that's further up than the plot. Okay, but we'll leave this be, and I think it'll be all right. <laughs> Back to Space Center. All right, so what if the whole thing is a pod? Let me... Uh, uh, maybe I won't edit those, but... Can we super nub this? We don't have big enough heat shields though. We could oversize them.
But the engine is the important part. So that's the rub of this sort of arrangement. We need those retractable kind of engines. What we want is small engines that can be tucked up here. I mean, we don't need that much efficiency anyway. Uh, I don't think they'll be blocked necessarily. Might be good to have a shielded tank here. Um, those parachutes are already configured for four tons. Uh, okay, well at least we have a probe core on it. Space nub R. And, uh, but, but do we have thinner engines, maybe? These look like they've got too much stuff sticking out, so we'll avoid that. But what we really need is like a fairing around these. This is like the most powerful Mark 1 pod ever. <laughs> uh, okay. I think it must be the case that we're more interested in the Space Nub R than the Space Nub, to be honest. Once that one's done, we will go on to the R. But we will be a responsible space program. We won't send a Kerbal on the first try. Gosh. Nope. No Jeb. This is pretty bad as it is, though. <laughs> anyway, SAS on, throttle up, and ignition, and launch. Ah, uh, the Mark 1 pod had a short circuit thanks to oil scrap. <laughs> that was quick. We don't have much electric charge as a result. We should put backup batteries. Guess we'll try to get a little bit more over water. So, one of the contracts is just to 100 kilometers, but then the other is to 170, so we'll tr try 170 to see if it's alright or not. We're technically a little bit over that. Might as well get all the thrusters online. Let's get those online first. Guess we'll do thruster checks. No, we can't do crew report right now. Let's just make sure we can't do crew report. Yes, we can't do crew report. Electric charge. I mean, even though we lost the battery in the pod, the battery up here in the modern control core is still working. Okay, well, I'm just going to arm all the parachutes. Why is it trying to tilt? Now, are the parachutes asymmetrical again? Okay, everything seems fine there. We really don't didn't need a heat shield, I don't think. Well, it says the worst part is the parachutes, so okay. There you are. Maybe I have too much RCS fuel at the top and it might imbalance things. Oh, we got an RCS block failure. That one. It's no longer firing. Just on this one very short suborbital flight. Well, now we have a parachute failure. So there we go. We've had three separate failures. The power in here, that RCS, and that parachute. But it still visibly deploys. Oh, scrap is vicious. Would it not have slowed us down? I can't really tell. Because we have the backups. Oh, I guess it would. Uh, the velocity could change. Fine. Well, the velocity changed. We have a waste leak. Who even designed this pod? I think we'll just barely manage to have enough electric charge. Charred ablator leak. Well, yeah, when you hit the water. We didn't even have any charred ablator. Okay, normal recovery. Right, but we didn't send the Kerbal. That one's just starting. We'll have to deal with the Mars and Venus missions before we get to that. It's also... Oh, right, but there's no actual maneuver. 
because it's not meeting up with Mars, right? Okay, so there was no correction. It couldn't do a correction. We're just seeing what state it's in. It wasn't able to meet up with Mars, not enough delta V. Well, it has connection. That's one important thing. We verify that this antenna will work when it's like this. So, Earth is over there. And it's got, no, it's no longer showing me the percentage, but it's in red. So if Earth is over there, that's going to be a problem. But probably on the initial approach to Mars, it won't be. And I think when we're not focused on it, it doesn't have any problems. Oh, and we got some extra science. Let's do that. All right. Well, I think that's about all we can do with this one. When is the next Mars opportunity? Or... I forgot to put Transfer Window Planner in here. Okay, so, well, our Venus mission is going to be arriving. Let's see if we can ensure its survival. Oh, boy. Okay, well, there's Venus. Oh, this orientation is not good for power, but we're going to turn anyway. So, what height would be good? Okay, 145 is where the atmosphere is. Oh no, we're gonna have to use the probe zone fuel for the rest, so we'll have to handle it reversed. Oh, uh, how's comms anyway? Oh, okay, the periapsis is gonna be on the side with comms barely, but... Um, well, yeah, we might lose comms where we actually come down, but the opposite side's even worse, I think. So, yeah, we prefer this side, I think. Or oh, it's close. It's a tough call. Okay, well, the impulse should shove us a little bit further along the way. Yeah, but we're going to have to do this reversed. So... Okay, stop, 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 stop. Uh, it's, it needs to turn for charging. Oh no, maybe you're not. I'm so confused. I guess it's in hibernation. Okay, so yeah, parachute, armed. But now, surface negative set. RCS on. And cross your fingers. Guess we can do some science? Well, we already did some close, but I guess that gravity scan, we might as well. Lots of messages. Oh, we got the science day from space around Venus. Now, just the surface. We did pick up the contract. So, it would be good if we could, like, fulfill it now. <laughs> uh, I thought we hadn't picked up the contract, but we did. I keep mixing that up. We didn't pick up the Mars one, we did pick up this one. We are slowing down. Everything seems to be in balance. I don't understand, really. We shouldn't be. The G-forces are serious. Whoa! Camera flip. Whoa, more flipping. But not of the actual pod, just the camera. Very important. A blader seems fine. We could probably have aimed a little bit higher. This has very little mass on a very big heat shield, after all. Okie dokie. 
What was that? 23 G's. Now the long trip down. Um, if it could come down right here, maybe we'd have comms. It's tough to say. There could be a horizon issue. We, st we have comms right now. I really don't feel like I need it to be puffing, but probably doesn't matter. 62 kilometers, and we're not going down quickly. Uh, maybe I should just turn that off. Uh, if we dump the propellant, we'll just go slower. So, yeah. Well, I guess we could do some science. It's not from the surface, but still. Uh, I have to be careful about the electric charge, though. Um, temperature scan should be fine. Oh, well, the gravity scan is the big one, then that can't be done in here anyway. Uh, I didn't remember it was this long. <laughs> I don't know it was long, but this is... <laughs> um, parachute destroyed due to... Oops. Radio arrow... Um, far killed it. Far killed the parachute. Or oh, real shoot killed the parachute. Somebody, somebody killed the parachute. Get some data here. But we're going 12 meters per second. There are things that can survive that. Oh, please let it hit the surface when it's 10 meters per second and not 15. Ooh. Things got hurt. Things got hurt. But so far, not the antenna. Oop. Oop. <laughs> um, um, we're going down. We're going down. Uh, I think the heat shield ablated, but then we've got the procedural shielded tank down here, and then the bottom tank, which everything, mo well, a lot of things that are attached to. Bloop. Are we- does this count as landed? I don't know. I think this counts as landed. Yes! We have done an uncrewed Venus landing. And we've transmitted data from the surface. I mean, it's not gonna survive more than, like, half an hour down here anyway. I mean, it shouldn't. Well, now we never need to do Venus again, right? Maybe, maybe we'll roll to a different biome. <laughs> Kerbal physics. Okay. Okay, it stopped in Midlands. It's the end. There's nothing left. Okay, well, there's 1.2. We might as well get it. We're not coming back here. It's still sliding a bit. But okay, that's that. Back to Space Center. All right, well, we've got some more money. Since we're eventually going to be making crude vessels that take a long time to build, we should probably increase the build points. Keep in mind that we still haven't done the R&D building upgrade, though. So maybe some more points there. Point three science per day now. Or simple command modules. Now we have a lot more science to spend. Heavy rocketry. No, there's some random thrusters here. But I feel like docking ports are useful eventually. I'll have to check whether we get station contracts. Lots of RCS upgrades here. Bigger heat shields. Miniature RCS ports. Oh, this is a docking, uh, propellant only docking port there. Little RCS ports plus propellant only docking ports. Yeah, let's do that. And then station modules, but we really want the bigger docking ports for those. 
and maybe contracts. So, all right, we'll go with general construction here. With an eye to advanced construction or heavy rocketry next. I think I need to make ISRU and which got waste recycling sort of things. Seems like there's a need for that. Okay, 